Okay, now we're going to take a look at tessellations of triangles by rotation. For this, you're going to need to have a ruler in order to make it work. I find that the easiest triangle to use for students are the right angle triangles that are three, four, and then five inches. So the quick way to make that is to create rectangles that are three by four inches and then cut them on a diagonal. And you can make a whole bunch of them very quickly. Equilateral triangles um, work as well as isosceles triangles, but they're a little harder to cut um, in large quantities. This same technique can be used uh, on a parallelogram, so you just kind of pretend that you're working with a triangle and it still works. I'm gonna make a separate video for that. So we're gonna take one of these triangles and we're gonna go ahead and measure and find the center of each side. So we know that this is three inches across, so halfway is going to be one and a half inches. Make a mark, if I turn it, we're gonna have four inches, so I go ahead and make a mark at two. Turn it again, and it's gonna be five inches long, so I'm gonna make a mark at two and a half inches. So then I'm gonna use my, uh, my pencil. I'm gonna make a line this time, um, and then I'm gonna do it a second time without drawing lines. So I wanna find the center of one of the sides. That's where I'm gonna start with. And I wanna go from the center to one of the corners. It doesn't really matter which corner I use, um, as long as the first cut is from a center to a corner. And um, the line that you create uh, should be kind of semi-complicated, but not crazy complicated. I'm going to do that. So go ahead and grab my scissors, cut along that line. Don't worry too much about being perfect on the line. Um, it's the cut edge that really matters, not so much the line that you're drawing. And to the corner. So once I have it cut out, I want to line it back up, make sure I know where it's at, because sometimes they'll fall down and flip and I'm gonna make it rotate around that center uh, mark. So I'm gonna rotate it around the center mark to the other side, and then I'm going to tape it together so that there's no space or gap in between the pieces. Okay. Now my next cut, it doesn't really matter where I go, but from wherever I cut, I have to cut from here to the, uh, the edge that's already been cut. I don't have to go to a corner. I could, um, but it doesn't make any extra sense to do that. So from here, I could cut over to here, cut over here, here, I could go around. Doesn't really matter. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make a cut that'll be like that, kind of join up with what's already happening in the shape. And I'm not too worried about being perfect with my cutting. Just making sure that I'm going from that center mark to somewhere along the cut edge. Okay, lay it back down. And remember, that's my center mark, so that's the point where it's gonna rotate. It's gonna come around and then reconnect. Get a piece of tape and we tape that down. Again, we don't wanna have any gaps or any overlap. Now, if you have a little problem with things not quite lining up, try and line up with the tip um, more than the center. The tip happens to be more important uh, than the center of the figure. Okay, so I'll line up with the tip. Okay, and the last one, I wanna go ahead. Here's my center mark. I can cut right over to here, I can cut here, I can cut all the way across, doesn't really matter. I just need to make a decision, so I'm gonna go this way and cut across. Again, line it up, there's my center mark, so I can rotate around the other way, that's fine. As long as it's getting rotated, it's gonna work. And then I go ahead and we tape this in, match the corners, tape it down. And if the tape goes over the edge of the paper, I can go ahead and just kind of rip off the extra or fold it over the edge, whatever works for you. We just don't want to have tape going outside the shape. So there's my 
tessellated triangle um, by rotation. I'm gonna do another one. This time, I'm not gonna draw my lines ahead of time. That'll leave me a nice clean shape. So, line up my triangle. I've got three inches here. Go ahead and make a mark at one and a half. Four inches here. and five inches make a mark at two and a half okay again first cut is the only one where you have to go to a corner so I'm going to go ahead from here make a dramatic cut That's my center mark, so that's where I'm going to rotate my figure around. Make sure the point matches up, tape it down. Next, I can cut from the center mark to anywhere along the edge. I could even make it swing around and go all the way up here if I wanted to, um, but then I'll make a long skinny worm, which is pretty hard to tessellate. So I'm going to keep this simple. There's my center point, rotate it around, reconnect, and we tape it without a gap. Any that goes over, any tape that goes over, just go ahead and rip that off. And I have one more to do. So there's my center mark. I cut from here along to any of the sides. So my shape doesn't really matter which way I swing it around, as long as I go around that center point and I reconnect that. Now I have my tessellation piece. Okay, so that's tessellation by rotation with a triangle.